USA and today we're going to explore how power and privilege affect our lives. In short, our world revolves around three things, money, power, and control. All three are sources of power. For us to have a discussion about power and privilege, let's talk about a few definitions that we really need to understand. Power. Power is to have influence, authority, or ability over someone else. Privilege is to have an advantage over or to be enjoyed by a specific group of people. Class is a system that orders people based on their perceived social or economic status. Financial status is usually defined as lower or poor, middle or upper or rich class. Social status is typically defined as popular or unpopular groups. Before we move on to privilege, let's make sure that we understand power. If you need to learn more about power, you can go to our video right here on power. When you do the power poses, let's think about how things might have been different or similar based on their different power and privilege. Here are two political figures. You have Nelson Mandela and Adolf Hitler. What are some differences about their power, their privilege, and their poses? Here are two economic leaders, Oprah Winfrey and Bill Gates. What's similar or different about their power or their power poses? Now, after we've discussed all four figures, let's see how their power might be similar or different based on different factors of who they are. Thinking about their social and economic groupings, let's see how race might impact their power. How does gender impact their power? And how does class impact their power? Which ones did they belong to? Which ones did they not belong to? For each social group that I'll mention in a second, let's think about how they have privilege or how they might not have privilege. Are you ready? Here we go. What race and ethnicities have more privilege? What gender gets the most privilege and power? What class has the most privilege? What sexual orientation has the most privilege? What age gets the most privilege and power. Now let's take a few seconds to think about the different factors that might also impact our privilege. Let's not stop there. Let's think about how more factors can even complicate this whole situation further. Take me for example. I am a young adult female Latina. In what ways do I have privilege and in what other ways may I not have privilege? Now it's your turn. Create a short video about how a person with power uses their privilege to help someone else. Let's keep this video under one minute and share it to your YouTube channel with the hashtag Fearless Voices. Or you can drop it down here in the comments and we'll add it to our Fearless Voices playlist.